My name is Apex and we're going to talk about lettering today. The basic technique for starting on lettering is literally just your signature, you know? Just writing your name. The root of my work is all based on the signature of a name, even if it's your nickname. It's still the signature of your name. So it's really saying who you are. Apex meaning highest point, peak. If I always try to hit my highest point, my highest peak, I can only achieve good. Every letter combination is different and it's really important to understand the gaps and spaces between the letters that they make and if it's the lowercase, uppercase, how do you want to mix it, you know, from taking, you know, a tag A and then making it a block letter. And then you know, maybe taking it to you know, a lowercase a and then maybe, you know, like one of my older styles that I used to uh, draw in a lot taking that same letter a this is still an a, just abstracting it I'm always looking at ways to abstract because uh, I think that we can indefinitely keep breaking down our individual parts to get to other things. And this is all from me just going through pages and pages of black book. This is still an A. And this is just an ornate form of this. But you have to understand this after practicing forever to go here to get to that. I'm doing, you know, a three-dimensional letter. What happens if I cut that letter? So, okay, now I cut that letter just to, to the sh one stroke. And now I just have a three-dimensional bar. Then what if I just add a couple more three strokes here? And now we're looking at my, you know, geo crystal forms. There goes my abstract connection to the fundamental building blocks of writing letters. And that came from looking at Chinese calligraphy of the stroke of one. And that stroke of one is the building block of all the other letter forms. It's the entry to the surface, the landing, the pull and then the exit and you just do this line of one you see like how I changed that variable from it being a little looser to heavy or constant the whole time with like a little heavy ending or if you if you come in and you pull it off now that's how you land it very steady and then you pull it off very loose and then you get the same you know the same line, but with a different feeling on the end. This is very wispy. This is very directional of where you're going. The approach, the landing, the pull, and the exit is very similar to, we just call it can control. After practicing in a black book with a marker, you can then pick up a spray can and apply it to a painting.